Hi guys, this is a video reply to a comment on a video reply to a comment on a video reply to a comment on an old video. Did you follow all that? Um, a long time ago, 2014, I was asked if putting magnets on the outside of a electric motor would improve it. So I did a video on that and it did make a little bit of a difference. Then I had a question about could I actually run the motor after taking those magnets out and just putting these motor these magnets on the outside. So I did that video and that worked. And then I had another comment. Um, could I 3D print something so we could get the magnets closer to the uh, rotor, whatever? I've forgotten what you call that bit now. Um, and see if that improved things. Well, I really didn't want to do that because when the motor's running, it does get hot and the 3D PLA will soften. But it did occur to me that we could just use armature, that's it, and just use the armature externally, put the magnets external, just to demonstrate it working without worrying about it getting too hot. So that's what we're going to try and do here. I've 3D printed, as you can see, an arrangement here. The idea is that I should be able to put the brushes in that end, the armature in the middle, the magnets in these holes here, and that bit, which has got the bearing in, I'm going to stick in that way round, just so it supports the other end of the armature, and see if we can get that working. I've got to get these support layers out first, which may be a problem, so we'll be back in a minute. Right, so I've cleaned the support layers out. So that will slide in there. That's just so we've got a bearing to support the end of the armature. All that should fit in there. Yeah, that's okay. The only thing is it's not going in quite as far as I'd like it to. Uh, it might be all right. So the idea is that it might be easier to put that in first. Okay, put that in. Okay, that's going to slop about in there a bit more than I intended it to. Can we push that in a bit further? Can if we pull those bits in. Okay, so we've got 
got some magnets in there. Feels like something might be rubbing a little bit, but we'll put a, put a battery on it and see what happens. find those wires are going to fall off but try and arrange this so you can actually see what's going on without things getting stuck to the magnets Nothing. Oh, that's disappointing. Ah, is that a good battery? Mm -hmm. A different battery. Oh yes, that was a dead battery. Ah, and that bit is purely to go on to the end of the armature. So we can actually see it's working. Try it the other way around. So there we go, an inside out motor. And I suppose somebody might say I haven't pulled the magnets out of there, but let's be honest, they're, they're not gonna have any effect right up there. These are the ones that are doing the work. Will it work with just one set of batteries? Nearly. Well, I can hear it making noises, but it's not working. How about with just one magnet? If anything, that sounds faster. Another way. Well, there you go. Inside out motor. And if you're going to demonstrate something, make sure you've got a good battery before you start trying.
Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.